thank you, um, thank you, sorry, thank you, um, Yannis, I'm sure you've been keeping a close eye on the T20 series that just passed. As a collective batting unit, what have you guys identified regarding the following aspects, the pitch, uh, weather conditions, and including the Indian bowling attack, especially how you guys want to approach the series? Hi, Nathan. Um, thanks for the question. Yeah, I think um, we, we, we do a lot of work um, in preparation for the games and we, we see how the conditions are. As, I, um, as I've heard, it's a big field we're playing on, for example, in the first ODI. So we'll take that into, um, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Um, there's obviously weather around, so uh, we pre we're preparing for maybe on an uh, on and off match. Um, so we're preparing for that. Um, but yeah, and we're also going through the team and um, preparing um, for that. So yeah, it's it's specific to every match, but um, yeah, it's it changes every every game. Thanks, Nathan. We'll go for those then. First of all, hi, Yanaman. Yanaman, uh, I'm just wondering how much has been spoken about the importance of of the series in terms of points for the the World Cup, and and also. You know, you're really you're playing with the eyes now, and, and that's where the World Cup's going to be. Is there a sense that you know that's something that this team simply just can't miss out on? Yes, um, I think everyone knows how important the next eight games is for for the pro tiers in the ODI format. Um, we trying obviously um, to to maximise the points from all the matches, um, and like you said, the World Cup is in India. So, um, yeah, personally, I've thought about it. It's, it's nice to, um, to, to get good prep um, and put in good performances to hopefully join the plane. Um, so, yeah, uh, good to play in these conditions. Ja, hallo. Um, ek was bevoorrecht om een bykie van een buitenstander oogpunt te hee um, om te kyk hoe die manne en die, die, die twenties doen. Um, dit is baie positief dat ons een goeie, goeie wedstrijd gehad het om die, om die, om die T20 reeks af te sluit. Um, so ja, van wat ek kan sien is, dit is goed om momentum in te vat vir die manne um, vir die World Cup. So um, ja, ek dink Ek dink die, die man is in een goeie spasie. Obviously, India is die beste in die wereld, so mens, mens, kan, mens gaan nie al die games kan wen nie, hulle is die beste, so. Um, maar ja, ons, die, die man in lyk in goeie gees. Great, thanks. Um, I know the guys on the call are struggling to hear me, so um, I am going to say we'll go next for Janneman's benefit, but I'll type it in the chat panel as well. Um, so Janneman, next up will be Charles. Hi, um, I'm just interested to know there's a, there's a lot going on in the, in, the, in the camp right now. We've got you know, Mark Boucher is, is on his way out. We have the whole situation with Amber not being bought for the SA20. Um, are these things discussed in, in, in the dressing room or, or, or are you just trying to block that kind of thing out? Yeah, I think. Um us as a Protea camp, we're pretty clear on, on how we want to approach things. Um, we have a saying like we, we want to be like in a submarine and all of these things are outside of our control and outside noise and we want to keep the inside, um, keep it in a good space. So um, yeah, we're just being positive and like you said, there's a lot going around, but that's, that's life. Um, so what we can do is to control, control um, the, the, the space we're in and respect it and um, yeah um, to be honest yeah it's not um, much talked about th th those things Thanks Talford, Amir uh, Good afternoon I, uh, Yana, I'm Amir here from Hi. the Herald uh, You spoke about the importance of the next 8 ODI games for us obviously that's uh, we have a T20 World Cup sandwich in between that just looking ahead 
to the Fructiova format specifically, what can we uh, expect from you personally and you know, how, just how you look to go about um, these next three matches in a bit to potentially you know, uh, cement a place for yourself within this ODI squad? Thank you. Yes. Um not to say too much, but you can expect my 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 um, best efforts and and all of all of me. Um, that's the that's the best I can do, and the, all the things I can control, um, I'll try to give my best. All the other things um, you can't control the results, but um, you can control your efforts. So um, put in, hopefully, putting good performances to get us wins to to hopefully qualify for the World Cup. Yeah, I think every player has their own role in how they approach things and how they support. Um, yeah, personally, I think it's just about showing a guy some love. For example, Temba, um, he's in a bit of a patch, but like we know, um, it can quickly change and he can find form easily before the World Cup. We, we back all the players in our camp. Um, and yeah, he's a good leader and um, he's valuable in our space. So it's just about showing some love um, and then get him to um, just perf perform again at his best. Thanks for those, Ken. So for me, Lucy, uh, hi, uh, how's it, gentlemen? Okay. Um, gentlemen, um, there's a slightly different dynamic from um, the guys who've been playing in the T20 and that, that was very much focused on preparing for the World Cup. And I guess, uh, I mean, I know you want to win every single game that you Approaches, but maybe the results didn't matter quite as much as they often do in that series. But now in the ODIs, uh, you touched on it in World Cup qualification and really trying to maximise uh, the points. Has that shift in focus put a bit more pressure on, on the squad and, and for guys like you who, who are joining um, that squad? Yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, to be honest with you, we're playing international cricket. Every game is a must-win. There's a lot of there's a lot of fans who, who uh, want the team to win. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of people talking about it. So um, I think, yeah, it, it's not it's not that much of a different mindset. Um, obviously, there is. It's it, literally we know exactly what we need to do to qualify. But um, when it's just normal matches, the pressure is still kind of on it to perform. Um, so yeah, it won't be the biggest change in mindset. Just trying to, uh, to, 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 to do well for the country. Thanks, Ken. And then we'll look to wrap up with Zahir. Yeah, as an opener, I can definitely relate to that. Um, I've definitely had a, couple, had a couple of experiences where, um, when you when you're not in form or you're not at, you don't have a lot of matches under your belt, it's a quick moving match. You have to you have to find a way. Um, and when there's pressure in terms of run rate and all these things, um, sometimes it can be very tricky and tough to to get going. Uh, like you said, in a one-day game, you can easily, or not easily, but it's it's easier than T20, than T20 cricket. Um, to just bat. When T20 cricket, you have to make the move. So um, it's definitely more difficult, but um, yeah. Thanks. And then we do have one last one for, from Amir. Uh, thank you. Thank you again, Yanaman. I was just looking at your um, 
career batting um, stats or scores. I see that you haven't, um, I may be, I speak under correction, but I see that you haven't played any ODI cricket in uh, India. What are you expecting from uh, conditions and how much do you, how much do you take from this last T20 series just in terms of getting to know uh, the conditions even though you didn't play? Yeah, it was um, actually good for me to, to be around the, the team when the games were played to obviously see how the wickets played and how the conditions are. Um, obviously, we, we, we know it's very hot and humid, um, even though it's a bit rainy at the moment. But um, So the heat is definitely a factor um, just to prepare for that. And the wickets, um, yeah, obviously Indian conditions, um, not the most bounce and maybe a bit slower. So. Um, trying to, to adapt to that as well. Lucky to have been on an SAA tour uh, three years ago. Um, so th those were a couple of t times in the middle that, that um, I can reflect back on. And it's good to have a lot of IPL players in the team to also talk about conditions in India. So um, yeah, that is the preparation.